Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot readings. Tarot readings from the heart. So we're going to do your uh, we're going to do your week ahead reading, twenty second through to the twenty eighth of July, two thousand and nineteen. We're doing our weekly check in. Okay, I'm using a couple of new. They're not they're not new decks. These were bought like about eight months ago, nine months ago, a year ago, something like that. But I never bothered using them. I always thought oh, this looks a bit childish. This one, and then I thought oh, this is too cluttered. But actually, I really like them. Looking. Uh, looking at them again, I think they're absolutely exceptional. So um, we're going to have a look at your current self and the theme for the week, by which we use the modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For your uh, key goal for the week, obstacle to overcome, and anything you're accomplishing in the week, Aquarius, we use the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. Love this deck. It's so beautiful. And for what you need to avoid for the week, what you need to embrace for the week and where you can find support if you need it. Uh, we are using the Tarot in Wonderland, which I just, I, I don't believe that, I can't believe that I hated this deck for so long. And then suddenly I'm kind of like, actually it's really good. And it is really good. So I'm using this deck by Barbara Moore, illustrated by Eugene Smith. And for your spiritual advice and guidance for the week, we're using the, I don't know, yeah, the answer is simple. Now, for the other reading that we do, the 15 card where we look at five cards, for anything else coming in, five cards for your love life for the week and five cards for work stroke finance. We are using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot and we're just going to use the Angel Answers cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Uh, if we don't get enough information from those, we go to the Angels of Abundance Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue. Okay, that's that. Let's, uh, let's start shuffling the decks and stuff. And what's going to happen here, guys, is I'm going to speed up the reading, speed up the shuffling, okay? So you'll see me shuffling real fast. It's only because I've speeded up the video so you get your video quicker. Okay, let's go. Right, we're ready to start, guys. Let's have a look. Who are you, Aquarius, in the week? You are the Queen of Wands. That's nice. Very nice energy indeed. Uh, you're showing as being extraordinarily proactive. I think that people are naturally kind of, you know, they gravitate towards you. Uh, you're showing as being extraordinarily, uh, you know, proactive and active and you're a multitasker. Uh, you're showing as making things happen. A lot of you guys have a very much a can-do attitude. You're showing as being extraordinarily confident. Uh, you've got a lot of abilities and you're not afraid to show it. Uh, I think that you're also, uh, some of you guys are really taking the helm in a situation. You're showing as being someone who has great leadership skills and isn't afraid to show that you can take control of a situation as well. I also feel that some of you guys are feeling extraordinarily intuitive and perceptive because the Queen of Wands is often the witch in the tarot, or she's usually actually a tarot reader. I don't know where the black cat's gone, but usually she's got a black cat sat down, down by her, but she's actually a tarot reader as well within the, within the tarot, okay? Um, let's have a look at what the uh, theme is for the week. Oh, that's nice. You've got two Leo cards, by the way, as well, which is, you know, really interesting because, uh, and we actually be going into the time of Leo, funnily enough, Aquarius, which is really weird. You've got two Leo cards, and we're, I think we're actually in the time of Leo, by the, are we, for July? Yeah, we are. I think we're in the time of Leo by the 22nd of July. So that's really interesting. I feel the theme of the week is that this is... Uh, there's, there's some really good things happening for some of you Leos. Sorry, Leos, why am I calling you Leos? Aquarius. Sorry, Aquarius. It's because it's Leo, pure Leo. G going into the time of Leo, uh, Queen of Wands, Leo, or Aries, but usually but she can be seen as either. Uh, and Sun is Leo as well. So I feel that the theme of the week, Aquarius, is that there is uh, a lot of positive things that are starting to open up to you here with the Sun energy. Um... I think that the theme of the week with the sun energy is that there is, if there's been any difficult situation, there's healing occurring now with the sun energy showing up here. There's positive new beginnings, uh, new birth, rebirth is the sun energy showing up here. You can see a baby on the card as well, can't you? So this is all about birth, new life. So new things are opening up. And I think that these things that are new, that are opening up this week for some of you, Aquarians, I think that it's going to be really, really positive for you guys going forward. And I feel that you are very much showing as being at the helm of that. Because the Queen of Wands is usually, you know, the initiator. She's the woman that gets up and makes things happen. She's not going to sit back. She's not like a Queen of Cups. 
She, she doesn't do the Queen of Cups. She's a really active woman. So I see you guys being really active this week. You're making things happen. And the theme of the week is there's a lot of positive opportunities ahead of you guys, I think, uh, Aquarius, with that sun energy. Really nice energy showing here. And the theme of the week and you guys showing us the... Uh, the one's energy here, I'm seeing a lot of confidence and a lot of kind of passion and drive and motivation around you Aquarians this week, which is really nice. What is the, um, uh, what is the goal that you want to achieve this week? So the two of coins, balancing act, that's the goal. And also two of coins means changes for the better, a positive change. So Aquarius, some of you guys, your key goal is to have a positive change with the Two of Coins energy, but also to get your life in sync or to, you know, if you've been balancing a lot of stuff, it's the find with the Two of Coins away that you can synchronize both things. Because if you look at what she's doing, she's synchronizing both, both pentacles. They're both kind of working at the same time, like a well-oiled engine, for example. So I think that the goal for the week will be, if you've had a lot of kind of, you know, uh, things that you've been really busy with, it's a week of synchronizing those things, getting balance in flow with the Two of Coins energy, but also creating with that Two of Coins energy some really positive changes, which is nice. Uh, what do you, what's the obstacle you need to overcome? Uh, there's a person showing up here, a King of Cups. And I feel that, you know, this is not really a bad obstacle, but I feel that there's somebody around some of you Aquarians who loves, who loves you. Because the King of Cups, I think this is a partner for some of you guys. And I feel that it's almost kind of... And you can see that he's got tears coming down. <laughs> and sometimes the King of Cups can be that type of person that he can... Usually he's like that reverse, but he can definitely be that up, up, up in the upright. Because the Cup characters are very sensitive characters. So the Cup characters often need... A lot of attention and they need to be cuddled and they need to be you know reassured that you love them but you are the queen of wands this week so the queen of wands is not about that life she likes a man to stand up as a man <laughs> she likes a man to stand on his own two feet she doesn't want to have to be empress or uh, you know queen of coins or even the queen of cups she doesn't want to be any of those people she's the baddest bitch of the queens basically uh, as a woman, because she, and I guess the Queen of Swords as well, really. Those two. What am I saying? How many queens? Yeah, of course. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands are the baddest ones, I think, queens. And the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Cups, they're nice, but they're, they were a lot more gentler in terms of their energy. Uh, practicality is the Queen of Cup uh, Coins and the uh, emotional element uh, goes with your Queen of Cups energy. The sensitivity and the, you know, the, the sweetness and all the rest of it. This lady is about getting things done and this is a week where you guys want to get shit done and the obstacle that you need to overcome is that you've got somebody around you I think Aquarius who's kind of like but what about me what about me what about our relationship what are you doing to spend more time with me I think you've got someone with around you who is very sensitive being that they're showing as a king of cups and I get the impression that this person needs your time and they need your attention and they need your affection but that's the problem because fire and water doesn't usually work and certainly the queen of wands with their queen of king of cups doesn't work they really don't gel because she is far too brazen and she is far too fiery for this water king he's far too sensitive and he takes a lot of um you know, he's very sensitive when she's kind of like, no, got to get to the gym, got to do this, got to do that. He's like, well, what about lying in bed and just relaxing? And she's like, no, I've got shit to do. Because my goal for the week is to get things tidied up. You know, I've got a lot of shit around the house, a lot of clutter to a coin. I need to get that tidied up. I need to get the money looked at. I need to get what's going on in my accounts and get that sorted out. You know, I need to talk to the bank account, the bank people about, you know, a new account with the two of coins. I need to start kind of striving to make some positive changes and to get some balance and order back into my life and perhaps your life as well. But this person's just about, well, what about the love? <laughs> He's like, what about the love? And she's like, I haven't got time for this. I've got shit to do. You know, so just know that maybe this week, and this doesn't have to be a lover, this could be anybody around you, a child even, who, you know, but then if it was a child, it would probably show as being a page of cups or something. But there's somebody around you, whoever it is, man or female, doesn't have to be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but they show as being extraordinarily sensitive and probably at times being quite needy, which is what these kings and queens of cups can be at times. Use your reverse books, hands certainly show that in the upright. 
Uh, what are you accomplishing this week? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you're accomplishing a cycle, completing itself with that wheel. Because even though I read the Wheel of Fortune as being a temporary cycle, I feel that in the here and now for this week, there is finally a cycle that is coming to a close. And you're a, a, I think that what you're accomplishing, being that with the Two of Coins, uh, Aquarius, sorry, that what you want to do is you want to try and uh, restore some order and some balance back into your life. I feel that what you're accomplishing is finally doing that with that will. Finally accomplishing that cycle, completing that cycle, at least for the time being, with that Wheel of Fortune energy showing here. Uh, what is it you need to avoid? King of Wands. There's another person. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, see, you're showing as being the Queen of Wands, and now you've got the avoidance of a King of Wands. Somebody who is equally demanding, but in a very, very different way. See, you've got two kings around you, right? You've got one who you need to overcome the obstacle of somebody moaning at you, that, that you're not giving them enough attention, Aquarius. They're really sensitive, and they're going to, why don't you love me? Why don't you show me no attention? <laughs> Can you see I'm crying? You know, and you're like, fucking hell, I've got work to do, man. I've got to put things into order. I've got to get things cleared up, and you're bothering me? What is wrong with you? But then you've got this dude that you need to avoid, the King of Wands energy. Somebody who is as demanding and uh, who is as, uh, yeah, de we'll just use the word demanding as you are. All right, so the King of Wands, he's very similar to that King of Cups in terms of you need to overcome the obstacle of somebody moaning and crying and being overly sensitive because you're so busy and distracted. But also you've got to avoid a king of wands. Same energy as what you're presenting this week, Aquarius. But this person is demanding with the king of wands energy. This person is extraordinarily ambitious and, uh, you know, boastful and braggadocious and demanding. And uh, this person is just the kind of male counterpart. And it's sexist, but they're the stronger version of the queen. So this is somebody or else around. You need to avoid the obstacle or overcome the obstacle of somebody who's terribly sensitive and avoid somebody who's terribly demanding as well at the same time. I think that this is a week where you're going to just have to navigate a lot of stuff in order to get where you want to go and, and do what you want to do. Uh, what is it that uh, you need to embrace this week? The star. That's yourself, Aquarius. I think that you need to embrace that you are in demand because the star energy, actually, I've never seen this star card. What a stunning star card it is, isn't it? Uh, but I feel that what you need to embrace is that you are in demand. People do look to you. People recognize you for the star that you are because this is your major card, okay? Uh, I'll say two things about this. I think, number one, that you need to embrace that these two people, King of Cups and King of Wands, have put you on a pedestal. So they do see you as being the epitome of wherever their life is at the moment. The King of Wands being his very demanding self and the King of Cups being his very emotional and sensitive self. They're both very demanding in their own ways. But you need to just embrace that they're like this because they hold you in great esteem as the star. Okay, so just embrace it, understand it and don't get offended by it because... You know, it's better that people show you that they really like you and they really care about you than, you know, than not. The other thing that you need to embrace here is that you are your own individual. Because Aquarians tend to think outside the, bat, the box. T they tend to be the independent thinkers, don't they, of the Zodiac. So just appreciate your individuality and that you do things in your own way. And don't feel that you have to adhere to anybody else's way of doing things for example that king of cups showing there is what you need to the obstacle you need to overcome which is somebody who's overly sensitive and gets really upset and tends to take it to heart with the king of cups energy that you don't have the time to spend on them okay because that's that's their thing that's on them it's not on you okay so you need to embrace that you are your own individual and you are you do have a view in which there are things that you want to achieve because Aquarius is also, I think, ruled by Uranus and Uranus is one of the Fool's planets. So the star and the Fool card from the Major Arcana are very similar in that they have 
this independent train of thought and they're always seeking out these new kind of very maverick opportunities and there will be people around you Aquarius that want you to assimilate into what they want the king of wands which you need to avoid this person who is making a lot of demands off you uh, and even though you show as being the queen this is who you are this week you need to avoid someone who is you know, requiring more of you than you can give because you're just trying to create the balance that you need here. So what you need to embrace here is that you are an individual. You are independent and you are you need to stand within your own individualistic train of thought here and don't allow yourself to get surmounted by the, de you know, the demands of the King of Wands and the emotional demands in a way. Even though he's not reversed, he can still be slightly emotionally manipulative and demanding in the upright you need to avoid both of these people because you need to embrace that this is your time to get your shit done and you have an individual train of thought on how you're going to do that. And if you're consumed by what other people want, you'll never get this energy here complete. Uh, let's have a look finally if you need support because I think you do. I think there's people around you who are asking for shit from you. Uh, and they're asking for a lot from you when they know that you're really busy and you're trying to complete stuff for yourself. And where can you go for support this week? Oh my God, look. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> the support of the Wheel of Fortune, that's an interesting one. Because I think that this is, if you need support, you go to the wheel. Who is the wheel? Can you see how they're running on that wheel? It's just an ongoing, ongoing thing. This is like the... Um, What's it called? Like the thing that the mouse go around in. It's like the never-ending kind of worker thing. I can't remember what they call it. It's like the mouse wheel. These mouse, this mice and the Alice in Wonderland going round and round and round on the wheel. So if you need support, you can go to the wheel. The thing that never stops is where you can go. The thing that never ever stops is where you can go for your support. That's interesting. I'm trying to think what that is because I've never seen... Wheel of Fortune is not a person. Wheel of Fortune, I think, is an energy. Uh, I, I just get the impression that you can go to the energy or... This can also be... Even though it's not often referenced as being the universe, the Wheel of Fortune is very much a universal card. So this is the universe bringing unexpected things to you. This is the universe you know, bringing in those synchronicities and, you know, those fated things. And it's your fate, it's your destiny, it's your fortune. You know, maybe you can go to your forefathers, people that went before you, who are in your family lineage, for example, with the Wheel of Fortune for advice or support. It depends on what you consider that will to be. I think this is something probably quite spiritual with that will. Any suggestions, guys? I can't think what this is, but any suggestions, you can always put it down, what you think that wheel of fortune might be with the support that you can take or you can go to. I certainly don't feel it's in kind of like a gambling place or, you know, if you want support, go to somewhere. I mean, you know, the wheel of fortune could be the fair. Actually thinking about it. Because look, they're on this kind of roller coaster, aren't they? And you've got all these cards around them and everything. It looks like a fairground that they're going to. So I, I just get the impression that if... You can come up with anything else you like on this as well. But I get the impression that if you want support, if you're looking for support... And I feel that, to be honest with you, this is somewhere that you can let your hair down. Go uh, to somewhere where you can have some fun. Go to somewhere where you can have a laugh. Maybe where you can spend a bit of money if you want, maybe. Not gambling it all away, but go to somewhere where you can just relax, let your hair down, spend a bit of money. The Wheel of Fortune also means when you get this card, a club, for example. So the Wheel of Fortune will often show up when it's talking about like going to a club or going to a you know an all-night rave or something like that. It's being amongst lots of people and having lots of fun. So this will show up for a club or something like that if you're looking for a place. I think it's a place where you can have fun, like a club or something like that. If you're looking for support, I don't mean you can get support there, but I think that more than anything, this is saying if you're looking for a downtime, just go somewhere where you can have some fun with the Wheel of Fortune energy, where nothing is really being expected off you with that Wheel of Fortune, because I just feel that you've got so much on you in these energies here, Aquarius, and people are expecting so much off you that you know, you do need some downtime. And I feel that if you just want the downtime, just go somewhere where you can have fun, whether it's a club, uh, whether it's the cinema, uh, you know, where it's some, whether it's somewhere you can go to and play pinball games or something like that, just go there and do that. 
you know, just get some, you know, get some fun going on. Because you've got a, a heavy week for some of you guys. And there's people around you who are asking you for stuff, despite you trying to navigate and get a few things in order. What's your spiritual advice? Say I'm sorry. I think the spiritual advice is, uh, when it says say I'm sorry, is just that, and this man here, she's saying I'm sorry to him. So this man here is probably your king of wands and your king of cups. I think the spiritual advice is not to get, because remember, they're fire energies. So either one of these can get really angry. And you need to avoid, if this isn't a person, then you need to avoid becoming that king, which is getting really angry. Because king of wands has a temper. And it might be because, you know, the, you know this person here is putting a lot of things on you. Why don't you love me? Where are you? Finding you every minute. You're still at work. Where are you? meant to be back here. I'm all on my own. Blah, blah, blah. You know... It might be that this isn't just a demanding person, Aquarius. This might be you. This might be you going from the queen, who is somebody who is able to manage and who is able to multitask and just do everything all at once, quite satisfactory, to the king of wands, who is still able to manage, but gets, who's, who's got a far shorter temper than her. So you need to avoid losing your temper here, possibly with this type of person here as well as another explanation, because you're trying to get things in order and you've got someone screaming at you here, all right, go and get some downtime, you know, cinema, or, you know, just be spontaneous, if you want support, if you want downtime, just do something spontaneous as well, because the Wheel of Fortune is spontaneous action, so just do something spontaneous, this reminds me of a gym as well, you know, like the treadmill, so, if you want support, you want a bit of downtime, Aquarius, go on the fucking treadmill. <laughs> go and get a workout, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune energy. Anywhere that kind of like you can just run and run it out. Because it might be if the King of Wands isn't a person, but this is you going from the very kind of, you know, I've got everything under control, Queen of Wands, to get lost. Can you see, actually, he's got this thing on his nose, this snake on his nose, his crown is off his head. He's trying to balance everything. Can you see? So you could easily be going from the composed Queen of Wands. Can you see how composed you are here, Aquarius? And you're going straight to that king. Ah! Getting really angry because you've got somebody screaming down your ear and crying and why aren't you here and all the rest of it. Then just go and have a run or something. Go to the gym. Go anywhere that you can kind of run off, especially if this is anger, that you can especially try and run off and burn off a bit of that anger there as well and just say I'm sorry if people are demanding things of you which the king of cups certainly can be as an emotional card just say look I'm sorry I can't because I've got this going on simple as that let's get you quickly get your other reading let's have a look so other general meanings other general stuff. Moon. Moon usually means a secret. Sometimes this is about the emotions, the emotions being out of sync with the moon. This can also be about your intuition or feeling that, you know, gut feeling is the moon card, feeling that something's off. Uh, it can also be a Cancerian or Pisces, Persis, person, Aquarius. Uh, the King of Wands. I'm seeing a very secretive person here or a person who has secrets. And you can see on this card as well, he's got glasses on as if he's hiding something. He, I mean, yeah, he just looked blind, he's got to walk, but he's got glasses on. I'm seeing someone here who's possibly quite secretive, a very secretive dude around some of you Aquarians showing here. Let's have a look at the next card. And I feel that you guys, Three of Swords energy, uh, Three of Swords is feeling hurt. I think that some of you guys are getting really hurt by this person's secrets. There's somebody here who's holding a secret and the Three of Swords is indicating getting really hurt. Uh, Moon of the Three of Swords as well can be like an illicit affair or third party situation going on. Somebody could be involved in that as well. Maybe some of you guys have got your suspicions with that Moon that this King of Wands is involved in something like an illicit affair or a third party situation and you're deeply hurt by it and you're, you know, you're boiling out your heart with that Three of Swords energy. I'm seeing that you're feeling a great deal of pressure as well with that Ten of Wands energy showing here. Uh, to be happy with the Nine of Cups. You're finding it harder and harder. You're struggling to be happy. I think this is love showing up here for Aquarius. And we've got love here as well. So this is the majority of this reading. It looks like it's love. Uh, I feel that... Let's go through this top layer again, Aquarius. What I'm seeing here for love uh, so far is that there is a man here. A King of Wands. Male or female. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I think this person hides secrets, he hides his eyes with the glasses, uh, I feel that you guys 
your intuition with that moon energy also is telling you that there might be a third party or he's having an illicit affair with that three of swords energy this guy here and you're really struggling with the ten of wands energy to be happy with this person and to be contented what's the next card showing up for love here uh two of coins shows juggling for love somebody who is juggling two people can be the two of coins energy showing there uh ace of coins energy well the ace of coins is juggling work so it might be that this person is actually juggling work it might be that if you've got suspicions that someone's having an affair and you're struggling to be happy or you know this person's struggling to meet up with you with the nine of cups struggling to kind of go partying or go out and that type of thing it might be because with the two of coins energy they're really busy at work so this might be, not be what you think it is um tower energy tower shows problems and chaos and arguments in relationships showing up here ace of swords so communication is the ace of swords being honest opening up um i feel that there's kind of like some sudden arguments happening here and there's a lot of communication where everything's coming out with that ace of swords energy showing up here but i think that this is going to heal the situation with the sun so i'm just going to say that within this love reading for some of you guys you might think your partner's having an affair probably because this person with the ten of wands is struggling to meet up because you've got this nine of cups where people are coming together nine of cups is also a socializing card and this person might be underneath all of the hard work struggling to meet up with you struggling to go out struggling to you know have downtime with you aquarius and you guys are kind of like your intuition is telling you with the moon energy that this person is having an illicit affair so this king of wands is having an illicit affair and you're crying you're on the phone you're like i'm sure that they're having it away with someone else <laughs> sorry <laughs> he's having an illicit affair mike <laughs> he's having an illicit affair with the moon and the three of swords <laughs> because whenever i call him he never answers but you can't see what's going on he's having a meltdown at work he or she's having a meltdown you don't see that though but you're like <laughs> Sorry. whenever i call him he never picks up the phone and he never wants to go out he's always struggling to go out but the problem is is that if this person is really busy and they're not picking up their phone you can see number one that they're busy you're just not seeing that and they're overburdened by work but also you're not seeing uh, kind of tying in with that is that they're really kind of juggling trying to juggle the work that they've got they're really juggling work they're doing a lot of work maybe they're doing a lot of work because you know they've got financial problems with the two of coins energy and they're having to with the ace of coins energy having to pay rent and pay money out maybe they haven't got that much maybe they've got a lot of bills that type of thing and you know what you're doing aquarius is you're making a situation worse because for some of you guys you don't know what the hell's going on you're just assuming it because the moon is all about just intuition you've got a gut feeling that there's an illicit affair with the three of swords this king of wands is having this illicit affair with the three of swords and you lot are kind of screaming to blue heaven but this person's under pressure you just don't see it in work that's why they can't go out and stuff uh i feel that there's going to be like this huge bust up for some of you guys with the tower and everything's going to come out with the eyes of wands energy but i eyes of swords energy but i do feel that in the end it's really going to clear everything up and heal it with the sun let's have a look at what's going on with your work and finances so there could be a contract here with the lovers lovers is often a contract or it's a choice uh the star that's you okay i think that you're in demand here i think there could be a contract you're coming your way aquarius i see you as being in demand by a corporation so this could be a new job uh and a lot of people are kind of like oh man i missed out on aquarius this person's awesome you show up as the star again there so i think a contract could be coming your way you're in demand some of you guys are also looking at making a choice possibly leaving where you are because you're in demand a lot of people want you to work for them that type of thing showing up there uh let's have a look here five of swords energy though five of swords energy can be setbacks or five of swords energy can show jealousy as well uh page of coins energy i feel that there's somebody younger around you who is um i think there's two things i think number one there might be somebody around you who's quite jealous this will be a younger co-worker with that page of coins energy the five of swords so shows jealousy and i think this page of coins might be from a younger co-worker showing up here as well there might be also some setbacks maybe in terms of kind of getting your you know your contract or your letter for the new job to come through that type of thing with the page of coins energy showing there 
But all will be well. Six of Cups energy. Uh, Six of Cups though is friends. No, I think there's some jealousy here. Five of Swords. I think it's a younger friend. Because the Six of Cups is a friendly card. But this is a younger friend in the group. And this is jealousy. Okay. I feel actually what's happening here is that uh, this week you're getting a lot of love from people in your working environment. Uh, people, Everybody likes you. You're the star. You're being really recognised and people are saying how great you are, Aquarius. But I think that this is going to generate jealousy, especially from a younger friend and possibly a few close friends as well. Don't be surprised if you're kind of the centre of attention as the star and everybody loves you. Don't be surprised if you get some bitchy remarks with that Five of Swords by a younger co-worker and possibly some close friends as well or somebody who's a younger co-worker or maybe it could be around your age but they're meant to be a really close friend. I think uh, the green-eyed devil is going to show its face this week from friends because you're in the limelight in terms of work. Let's have a quick look at your advice for the week. Uh, just show me in a few cards, one, or one, two, three cards, whatever you want to give me, universe. What is the advice you have for Aquarius this week? Show me. It's telling you to take action. I'll see if there's another card that shows up here. If you take action, you'll get a peaceful resolution showing up here. Okay. Uh, you need to get more information and wait. All right. Because the situation will improve. All right. So the universe's message to you this week is take action if you want a peaceful resolution. You definitely need to get more information on a situation and then wait for the situation to improve okay that's your reading my darlings love you loads take care bye bye